Bautista. Tried to work it with Teixeira. A giveaway by the Friars. Here comes Haney. Broken up by Castaneda. Fair, Friars numbers if they hurry. Castaneda down the middle. Castaneda top of the box waiting for Lopera. Across here for Chavez. The shot and it's a handball. And that will be a penalty and could seal the fate of the Huskies. No doubt about this one. No need for VAR. The shot from Chavez, clearly blocked by the arm of Jack Laura. And we'll see who steps up to take this one again. Friars have had their issues on penalties this season. I don't know why they even need to look at this one. Clear as day. What? In these kind of circumstances, I guess they just want to be 100% sure, but again, doesn't get any clearer than this for a handball violation on a defensive end inside the area. This is a handball every day of the week. A good shot from Chavez. Found himself some good spot. And UConn knew it right away. Uh, this is... This should be one of the shorter reviews of the season. And as the official taking a look on the monitor. And hands coming up right here to block the shot that does not make it in on net because of the handball. So by rule, that should be a handball. Not sure they why they even had to go look at it. And it is a penalty. Not sure how Chris Bondi could argue that one. And now he's going to pick up a card. Or is he? Referee looked to be going to his. And it's night and day between what UConn was looking for in the first half. It's not even close at all. And I think that's what the official is trying to convey. I mean, Laura's arm blocks the shot of Chavez. It keeps it from going on net. I, again, that's about as clear of a handball violation as we've seen all season long. If it was borderline, I'd tell you, but that one was clear as day. And now I think Chris Bondi just trying to maybe try to ice the kicker a little bit more. So Batista's holding on to it. Kirk Vliet is right in his ear. Now I'll be surprised if it actually is Batista that's going to take it. Now Prego over there. So we'll see who actually does take it. And now Lajar there as well. Again, there's no love lost between these two teams. And so, yep, didn't think that it was going to be Batista. They're going to send Bruce, Bruno Rosa to the spot. And Kirk Vliet still... Jibber-jabbering right in his face there. <laughs> Referee sending him back now. Is Rosa a chance to perhaps ice this one with 9.02 remaining? There has been a long delay from when the call was initially made. It's Rosa from the spot. Bruno Rosa knocks it in. And the Friars lead 2-0 on the penalty converted by the junior from Portugal, his fifth goal of the season. And that might be enough to send the Friars into the semifinals. Credit Kirk Vliet. He guessed the right way but didn't get enough of it. Well struck by Bruno Rosa. Again, his fifth goal of the season. As he converts the penalty in the 81st minute. Well, the Huskies truly up against it now. 9.02 left to find not one, but two. Friars are going to make some changes. They're going to bring in Mitchell Varley and Sam Montalto. 
And they will replace, it looks like Aiden DeVoke and Bernardo Prego. So smart move there by Coach Stewart. Prego on a yellow, gotta be careful there. As Chris Bondi's still not happy. He's finally gonna get shown the yellow. He's yelling at the fourth official too. I'd be surprised if Chris Bondi lasts the rest of this one. As the referee has had just about enough from the UConn sideline. You never wanna see anybody get tossed. You could understand the frustration for sure. So that yellow is